Okay, just a brief uh, putting back the spark plugs for the engine. Now that we fix the spark plugs, we want spark plug one in. Remember, the bottom one goes on the top. Bit stuff so pushed in. And then this one goes to the bottom. If you have to tap it, tap gently with a rubber hammer so they fit in properly. Uh, not too vigorously because if you break the spark plug, it's a bad thing. If you bend it, it's a bad thing. <sighs> For the spark plugs plugged in, nice and tight. Okay, so the next uh, the next step is lubrication, and we have to lubricate everything while we're down there. We check the anode rod looks okay; it's not been used much in salt water, so it's fine. Uh, we're using standard 24C mercury with PTFE. <sighs> It's a little bigger. Okay, so we're back. And here's the 24C going there on top. And it's kind of yellowish. Basically spread it all over and get as much of it in as you can. Um, it's basically grease. You've got a whole tube of it, so who cares? Um, this is kind of messy. I have to spread it with your hands, with fingers, just wipe it across. Make sure it's in there properly and spread it all around the shaft. And you'll do the same for the grease points, which has all the shifter linkages, which is here. So, similarly, grease all this, grease that, grease all the shifter linkages here. Pretty much anything that moves, just grease it. Um, it's not going to harm anything. Those cables in there need to be greased as well. so yeah and of course you go down and grease all these points as well which need the grease um, and basically just liberally spread everywhere here there's more points which need grease and yeah basically a lot of grease everywhere um, it's a very messy job but at the end of the day your motor is going to be happier for it so Okay, so I've greased pretty much everything. Move that out a little bit. Grease behind it. Push it back in. Um, we have all that greased. Shifting is all greased. Uh, pretty much squeeze the bottle inside and grease the bottom part of it. Squeeze inside. Grease all that. And Inside the bottom of the tilt mechanism and grease, grease about there as well. Here you go, more grease, grease inside the splines, um, grease pretty much everywhere. Whatever moves, grease it. Uh, only thing is, don't put any grease out here where your oil filter goes, and for that, you need a light film of oil. Uh, brand new oil, only new oil filter, and any screws. You don't want any grease on the screws because you will be putting basically a thin film of new oil. So don't put anything on your screws. Okay. Next thing to do is start injecting fluids into the machine, and that should be pretty much it.
uh, propeller assembly. We slide the nut back into place. It fits nicely in the groove. Everything is lubricated. Slide the propeller back. Rotates nicely. It just goes in finger tight. Find the little find the little hole. The new pin goes in. A shiny pin. That's about it for propeller assembly. Okay, this is the gear oil change. There's several ways of doing it, and I found only one which actually works. Um, the first way I tried to do it was putting one of these plastic things on the end of my gear loop bottle, and that created a mess, as you can see. Um, not a good way of doing it. I also did it with this thing Which is a metal oil can essentially you fill it up with the exact amount of oil you need to put and then you put it into the motor uh, top basically and That was not a good idea too because um, basically the oil pump failed in this little metal thing because it couldn't take the high viscosity of the gear lube oil, which is a mercury blend. So the only thing which seems to work, and mercury loves charging for it, is this gear lube pump. Essentially, it goes over this bottle. Um, there's a little plastic tube. It comes with this end connector which screws in on the bottom of your mercury gear leg. So where you have your bottom screw, you basically screw this in. This is metric sized. The default comes with US Imperials. Um, this includes a metric adapter, so pretty much everything is included. It's about 35 bucks along with one liter of oil. So I recommend you do that. And I'll be doing it right now um, to demonstrate its effectiveness. Um, it's a very good system of doing things. And uh, here we go. Okay, as you can see, I have fitted the bottle, top of the pump goes in, and there's my little adapter, the yellow adapter is the US Imperial, and the metric adapter for International Mercury Outboards and Canadian ones is this little metal thing out here, it just slides in, and you can see it basically just gets screwed in the bottom of the Mercury Outboard, I've kept this on top, the top hole open as Mercury recommends and what I'm going to do is just pump and it pumps slowly um, the oil is basically very viscous so here we go and it goes up there and we're waiting for it to come out pump like five or six times 
Give me a little more. Keep pumping. It does take time for it to come up because the whole oil is highly viscous. You have to wait for it to come up because if you don't, then your yeah, pump will pretty much kill itself. <laughs> And this takes about 200 milliliters, so I have 200 milliliters in the bottle. Oh, looks good down there. And there you go, first dripple of oil has come through. And we wait for it. We want the oil to settle, so we're waiting. Give it a good like uh, 30 seconds or so for it to settle. I was dropping all the place, it's a messy business even with the right pump. This is typical. Give it one more shot. Yes, there's a ton of oil. The air looks like it's bubbled out. And I just put the screws back on once I put the new washers on the screws. So here's my screws, I put the new washer in, that's the empty packet for the washers, so I'll put the screw in, this is tricky because it's a mess of oil. Okay, so put the screw back in and I just squeeze the bottle once a little bit just to give it a little pressure. Loosen the screw a little and it pops out a little bit. Now there's no air in there so that's pretty much all I need this is again a very messy process in a freaking gear loop oil place but uh, it's tight and now basically just disconnect the bottom and repeat the process and once again you get a little spray of oil mess as usual Thing you there.